Hello, I'm Katherine Artinas. Thank you for joining me for this short video on Perfect Stitch Viewer. It's one of the packages available in the Inspiration Software series. This is a great little software at a great little price. The blurb on the Inspiration Software website tells us that Perfect Stitch Viewer turns your Windows Explorer into your personal embroidery image gallery. Why might we need this? You know how you can go into Windows Explorer and actually see your photographs or JPEGs as they are called? Well, back when Windows was being created, the developers knew of these JPEG files and bitmap files, so they knew what to write in the program so that we could view them as they are. And then through the newer versions of Windows, and there were many, we can also see other images like PNGs, GIFs, or TIFs. With Perfect Stitch Viewer, you can see your embroidery designs just like you see these photos. Are you used to seeing your designs like this? It's very frustrating to know which design is the one you want. Wouldn't you rather have it look like this? This is what Perfect Stitch Viewer will do for you. Once you purchase Perfect Stitch Viewer, you would install it like any other software following the prompts on screen. To check your work, you would go to your desktop you should see the Perfect Stitch Viewer icon. We would click on it to go to the opening screen. Let's read the important note. It tells us that we will be viewing any designs through Windows Explorer, which is the Microsoft product available on all PCs. Inspiration software is not made to work with Mac computers. Let's first click on how it works. You are brought online into an open PDF called installation, but it's really more of a help file. If this is new to you, a PDF is a portable document format, a file format that gives us an electronic image of text and or graphics that looks like a printed document, as you see here. You can read it, print it, or send it. Generally, you cannot edit the original. This PDF is your help document. Perfect Stitch Viewer does not have a manual. It doesn't really need one, as you'll see how easy it is to use. Basically, this file tells us that Perfect Stitch Viewer shows an image of the embroidery design file in Windows Explorer. It allows us to see the design, which we saw on our slide of the Paisley designs. It tells us that this capability is working through Windows Explorer. File Explorer and Explorer are the same thing. The term just depends on what version of Windows you are using. The last paragraph tells us that you can view any of your embroidery design files that are on your hard drive on your computer, your flash or thumb drive, which is your USB stick, or an external drive. We cannot see any embroidery design files that are on a CD. You'll still see the file names, but not the picture of the design. It's a limitation of the way Windows works with the video memory. Here you see that even though I'm on large icons to view, I do not see the exact designs on this CD that's in my DVD drive. Also, if you have any zip files, you'll need to unzip them first. If that term is new to you, it means that a file has been compressed, like having all of the air squeezed out of it like a shrink wrap, so it's smaller for storage or sending purposes. This is a good visual of what a zip file does. If you have a zip file, you'll need to extract the files. Here we see at the top in File Explorer a list of zipped files, and they are compressed. In this next view, I've opened that first file, and we see the individual files in that zip folder, but we also see that they are still compressed. This is the ribbon from Windows 10, and it gives me the Extract All button. Once I click on that, going back into that same folder, I can now see that those files have been unzipped and the original size is showing. If you do a comparison between the original size and the size of those same files compressed, you can see that there is a difference in size. If you were in Windows 7, you would double click the zip file most of the newer computers come with a WinZip feature that will unzip the one file back into individual files, as you see here. You can then see them through the Explorer. Coming back to our help file for Perfect Stitch Viewer, 
if we take a look at page two, this is a help if you are having an issue with seeing the icons of the embroidery design files. There are some other things I'm going to go over with you to make sure you are seeing your designs. Back in Perfect Stitch Viewer, we're going to click now on our second button, View Designs. Whereas we can go into any folder to see designs, that View Designs button brings us into the folder holding the free designs that come with Perfect Stitch Viewer. So, another bonus with this great little software. Here we see them in list format. I'll double click on PEZ since that is the format I need for my baby lock machines. We now see all of those designs that are in the folder. And this is what Perfect Stitch Viewer does for us. And it's what we need. It's much easier to decide which of these designs to place on our flash drive to bring to our embroidery machine. We could even come up here and click on the extra large icons to see them bigger. But if you have a slow computer, this will also slow everything down. Some systems will allow you to see them in medium icons, but almost no system will show under the small icons. Just as you do with any file folders in Windows Explorer, you can also choose to see the files as list, as we saw them before, as detail, which gives us date modified and size. We can also do tiles, which gives us a small image along with information about that file, and so too does content. We'll put them back on large icons. Let's back up to see the other formats offered in our free designs. All I need to do is click up one level. We see the EXP and DST formats. These are for commercial machines. These type of formats do not hold color information. If I were to double click on the DST folder, we see the designs as we saw them under PEZ, but the colors are all goofy. Look at these two cats. If you need to work with one of those formats, you would be very interested in printing the color sequence PDF that comes with a free folder. Again, let's back up one level, and here we see that PDF. We'll double click it to open it. It opens online. We'll do our scroll down to see those cats. And here we see those cats are given to us in the normal colors. You also see what brand of thread is being listed here. You may remember that we now have exquisite thread collection in our inspiration software. So we can use this thread conversion chart to see the exquisite threads you would need for those free designs. A big thank you to Ken Sewing Center for having this PDF online on his website. It really runs into two pages. Let's go back to see the other formats. We have the HQF. This is for Handy Quilter Format. It makes the design a continuous line to use on a long arm. I'll double click here and you see all of the designs come in in blue. Again, a continuous line to use on a long arm that minimizes starts and stops. Also, just for your information, in Perfect Embroidery Pro, you can save designs to an HQF format. And then you see the rest of the formats that are given to us in the free designs coming with Perfect Stitch Viewer. If you have Windows 7, to work with your view options, you would go to the extreme right of your menu bar and you'll see a number of buttons listed. It is the one that looks like a picture. It'll have a drop down black arrow. When you click on that arrow, you'll see all of your options as to how you would like to see your design files. So, we have installed Perfect Stitch Viewer and we check the installation by opening it for the first time and clicking on View Designs. Here's what makes this little software package a huge one. We no longer have to open it it automatically runs in the background from that point forward. After a while, you may even forget you have it. If you have no need for any of these buttons as you first get into your computer for the day, we simply don't open it. It can reside, as all of our others do, on the desktop. It is said to be a seamless program, which means it doesn't interfere with any other programs running. It works smoothly with existing systems. You won't even see the Perfect Stitch Viewer icon down on the taskbar. It's sort of like this. Here we see Bert and Ernie having a grand time, 
But if we were to look behind the scenes, we would see all the effort that goes into Bert and Ernie having that good time. Sort of like Perfect Stitch Viewer. Because I have Perfect Stitch Viewer installed and running, that's how I'm able to see all of my embroidery design files whenever I'm in Perfect Embroidery Pro, as I am right here, or Word Art and Stitches, or Dime Vintage. In PEP, let's come down here to our Library tab. I see here my Perfect Embroidery Pro free designs. Clicking on that option, I'm going to right click in my display window ask it to show me contents, and I'm brought into that folder, again taking a look at our path right here, but I see all of my designs. Again, because Perfect Stitch Viewer has been installed and running. In View, I could even choose the extra large icons if I wanted to, or leave them at large. If you have done all that we have done here, installed your software, opened it to see your free designs, and you still don't see your design files as images, you'll want to contact the support desk. You can do that by going to inspiredbydime.com, choosing support, and looking down towards the middle for software technical support. Back in Perfect Stitch Viewer screen, we have another button, check for updates. When you click on this, you will see one of two screens. If you already have the current update, you'll see this screen. You already have the latest version of the program. If there is an update available, you'll see this screen, and it will ask you if you want to go ahead and download it now. You would simply click on Yes, and then follow the prompts to install the new version. The wizard would begin. You would click on Next. You need to click with the I Agree, do the Next, choose to install it, and then once it's installed, you'll do your finish. Very easy process. If ever you want to see what version you're using, you're going to click on the small PSV icon at the top. You'll go under About, and it will tell you the current version. We also have this button, Clear Thumbnail Cache. Let's read the paragraph. Windows keeps a copy of all of your design images so they can be displayed quickly. If you clear them, they will be automatically recreated as needed. What is really happening when you clear thumbnail cache is a disk cleanup. It's cleaning out your temporary internet files, recycle bin, etc., depending on what you have chosen in your properties disk cleanup. This is what it would look like if you did a right click on C drive in your explorer and then went under properties. You see here we have the disk cleanup button but it's so much easier right here in Perfect Stitch Viewer. Just one click here and you've taken out the trash. That brings us to registration. You'll need to do this to activate your software. When you click on the registration button, a form appears for you to fill out and submit. Once you do this, any time in the future, you can now use this button to see your serial number and activation number. Here is my registration form with my information hidden. Once you do this, any time in the future, you can then use this button to see your serial number and activation number. It's a good idea to jot those down. You'll find them in each of your registered Inspiration software. It's handy if you need to contact the support desk and fill out a ticket. Also, once you register, when you go into that screen, you'll then see the addition of the Unregister button. This you will need to do if you want to remove your software from, say, this computer and put it onto a new computer. Please don't do this just to see how it works. Refer to the procedure on the Inspiration Forum. Once again, inspiredbydime.com, you would go under Support, you would look for your Inspiration Forum, click on that button, and then come down to your Frequently Asked Questions here we have the replacing the old computer and what to do on a new computer. You don't want to do this just for fun. You only have so many activations available on your software. We've now covered all of the buttons that are available to you should you open Perfect Stitch Viewer. Remember, once you have it installed and have opened it the first time, 
it will always be running in the background. Did you know Perfect Stitch Viewer did so much and did it so easily? If you own any inspiration software package, from Word Art and Stitches to Vintage, any of the quilting packages, and especially if you own Perfect Embroidery Pro, you really should own Perfect Stitch Viewer. We embroiderers are visual people. We want to see our designs. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy!